Good day, children. Welcome to our English class. I am your English teacher, Mr. Jonard Malanau. So for today's session, we are going to study about recognizing the parts of a simple paragraph. But first, what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences about one idea. What else? A paragraph has about five sentences. What else, children? The first sentence of a paragraph is indented. Very good, children. Everyone give yourself a virtual clap. And a paragraph has three parts. First, we have the topic sentence. Next, supporting sentences. The third one is the concluding sentence. And what is a topic sentence? Yes? A topic sentence states the main idea of a paragraph. The topic sentence is usually the first sentence in the paragraph. It is introductory, meaning it should not include details, rather it should introduce the main idea which will be supported by the rest of your paragraph. And what about supporting sentences? Supporting sentences give details about the main idea. Here in supporting sentences, you can give reasons, you can also give examples, and you can give steps in a process. And last, what is a concluding sentence? A concluding sentence ends the paragraph and restates the main idea. Very good, children! So we are going to read a simple paragraph and we're going to recognize the topic sentence, the supporting sentences, and of course, the concluding sentence. Are you ready? Yeah! A few moments later. Okay, I'll read it first for you, children, and after that, you will read it by yourself. Ina loves to write stories. She writes about fairies and elves. She wrote a story about a boy who ate loaves of bread because he wanted to grow big and touch the sky. She also wrote a story about a girl who got lost in the forest while picking some wild berries. But what she loves most is her story about two ladies who quarreled because of their babies. There is a good lesson to be learned in this story. Now it's your turn, children. I'll just give you a minute to read this simple paragraph. Are you done, children? Time's up! So now, we're going to pick the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. First, let's find out the topic sentence. Again, the topic sentence states the main idea of a paragraph. So the topic sentence here is Ina loves to write stories. Okay, next, let's find out the supporting sentences. The supporting sentences come after the topic sentence. They make the body of the paragraph and they give details and support to the main idea. So let's check. So the underlying sentences are what we call the supporting sentences. 
it gives details to our topic sentence that Ina really loves to write stories. And last, our concluding sentence. So again, it ends the paragraph and restates the main idea. So obviously, our concluding sentence here is, There is a good lesson to be learned in this story. So our topic sentence is in the red box, while our supporting sentences are underlined in red and our concluding sentence is in the green box. Thank you for listening and see you again. Goodbye!